pretty good. Oh, Monte Carlo looking pretty good over here. Lucky's Wheels and Dills, we back at it again with another lit video, you guys. So today we're in the OBS truck, man. Yes, 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 yes. So we're gonna go to the muffler shop, man. I'm debating if I should run these pipes out the back. It is too loud. But I'm debating if I'm gonna sell it or not. I know my pops wanna buy it. I really don't have to sell it, but hey, money is money, man. So everything's for sale. I can always find another OBS truck, but this one is clean as hell. I don't think I'm gonna find one as clean as this. I don't know, they got some clean ones out there, but I don't know yet, but we gonna fix that exhaust leak. You know, I never noticed it. We gonna see how it probably run after we fix the exhaust leak. We gonna fix the exhaust leak for sure, for sure. Um, I'm not like I said, I'm not sure if I'm gonna run the pipes out the back. I kind of rather sell it to my dad, so if I want it back, I can always buy it. God damn, I gotta put gas in it. Always on E, man. You're always on E. Always on E. God damn. So we gotta go to the damn gas station. I'll be in the mode, like, let's go, let's get it to go, let's get this shit out the way. And uh, you know what I mean, but I guess it don't work out like that. No snacks, no nothing. I ate all my little snacks. Yes, it's a mess. Oh, that's what I want to do. I want to get this uh, interior detail. Um, uh, I can either shampoo the carpets myself, but it's too goddamn cold to be shampooing carpets. So what I might do, I might let someone else do it, or I might look at the calendar and see when it might get warm. But other than that. I mean, I could leave the car on and leave the heater on, but this heater don't get, it still don't, I guess it gets hot, but it don't get as hot like the other cars or like the newer cars. But it get hot enough. You don't, you don't freeze in this car. But um, anyways, guys, uh, let's get to this damn gas station before I run out of gas. Then we're gonna go to the muffler shop and let's get it in. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whip out. Who want to play? Remember the bet. Yeah. Hold on. So ethanol is more expensive than beet power. That could cook crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the first time uh me using <clears throat> first time me using it outside uh, this one. Oh look at that good old nine that one. So 91 is cheaper than 87. Cause this one says zero ethanol, 10%. And this don't say nothing about nothing ethanol. This one don't say nothing about ethanol, but I don't know. I know I always use that uh, V power. I got that stuff that cleans your tank out. Oh, let me do a little walk around. Of Selena, oh, Selena. Out here looking good, looking sexy, looking hot. Y'all haven't subscribed already? Hit the subscribe button. Lucky Wheels and Deals, big baby. <clears throat> like I said, I love this truck, but I love money more. You know what I mean? Love money more. <clears throat> I would change the tail lights, but if I start thinking about selling it, 
Some people might like these lights. Some people might like the uh, what the hell. Some people might like uh, you know certain ways they could do that custom shit they sell. They want to change out the, the headlights or change out the tail lights. Uh, they could pick and choose which one they want. <clears throat> I'm trying to make a profit. I don't want to put too much money into it where I can't come back. I've been did that with a lot of personal cars. And I, you know, the thing is with me, I don't like putting a lot of money into cars naturally because I'm always thinking about flipping cars. You know what I mean? When I had my, when I had my Z06 Corvette, I was just thinking to myself the other day, when I had my Z06 Corvette, I bought that car, drove it for three years, and made money off of it. Now, like I, the value went up, and I sold it, and it went, and I made money off of it. If I stick money in this car, I could stick twenty thousand dollars in this truck. That don't mean I'm gonna get it back. You know what I'm saying? So that's the difference with the old school and the new car. Like certain old school cars, you buy them cheap enough, fix them up to bring them back to life. Yeah, you can make some good money on them, but. Not these trucks. There's a whole bunch of these trucks out there. There's like a, a top out, like a max. You know, same thing with certain cars that you sell. Like you like, well, the 96 Impala, those cars. I don't give a damn. You put, they, they only go for a certain amount. They're selling for a certain amount. You could put how much is worth and all that and what is worth and all that shit. But that don't mean you're going to sell it for that much. It still didn't fill me up. I don't even remember what we what we, we put $52.28 in there. I forgot to play Remember the Bet because I was talking to y'all. But uh, I guess I'll be good for now. Oh yeah, man, we're gonna fix this. All. I can hear the exhaust leak as I I can hear that exhaust leak as I uh get on it. It might sound way better once I fix it. Let's see how that shit sounds. Yeah, so I don't know what, I don't know. And then I'm like, maybe I could keep the exhaust like this because some people might like it. You know what I'm saying? So I hate to throw money, waste money if I plan on selling it. So that's the thing. Me personally, I'll change the taillights, the headlights and all that. But if I plan on making money, you need I need to slow down and have the le least money in this vehicle and like, yeah, that's, you know, let someone else have their own option of what headlights and taillights they want to put in it. But I am going to uh, get this thing detailed out for sure. Yeah, if I'm going to do it or someone else is going to do it, but we got to get this carpet cleaned up. Yes, we got to get this carpet at least cleaned up because it got like stains and shit in it. We're going to get that shit shampooed, but it's cold, man. And then, uh, I don't know, I might leave, I might leave this if I was like that, because I'm pretty sure some, someone that buys is going to be younger, and they're going to they gonna like it. They're going to like it. I'm like, oh, that thing sound good. That thing sound mean. Y'all know we got that three-inch pipe on here. Thing run like a champ. Run like a champ. That's the best time to get rid of them when they're running good. Yep, only one exit up. One exit up. Up here working? Always working. That's what's up, man. Somebody working. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Right through here one time. I ain't been up here in a minute, man. Let me take y'all up here. 
Oh, that's secret. Hey, that's, hey, hey, don't worry about that. Don't worry about what I'm doing with that up here. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, all right? Don't worry about why that thing is up here, man. Don't worry about that. Look, you just hop out and look at it. All right. Monte Carlo. You see it? We at the lot, man. I know some people been asking about go to the lot. What's it going on at the lot? We got this Monte Carlo still sitting here in the dot damn spot. In the way. Still. Might need some parts off this damn vehicle. Motors and yeah, man. I ain't been. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't been back here in a minute. They got oh, what? Hold up! They got boats. Oh, I have to get out to see this. Who the hell brought a boat up here? Who in the hell brought a boat up here? Like, okay. One thing, I'm like, what the hell? I ain't been up here for a minute, y'all. So excuse me. I ain't been up here for a minute. I've been MIA, missing in action. But this engine on the ground what yeah that shit this looks very difficult where do you start where do you begin all right but they got a boat oh yeah every like i said everything for sale we selling everything we got boats and everything Big boats with the trailer. Well, I know where I can get me a boat at. What up, JJ? I ain't know you was up here. I'm, what y'all doing up here so early, man? I didn't know y'all work on Mondays, man. Y'all work on Mondays? We work every, all day, every day until Sunday. Man. Oh, yeah? We, we sell everything beef. Hell yeah! Hey, tell me your YouTube channel, cause we sell people. Box truck. We sell boats. I know. I was like, what the hell? That's all. Like, what the hell? Anything that run, huh? Anything that got a, Anything that got an engine in it. Like what? Like you said, I just sold coke. <laughs> as long as they feeling it, be, I can move it. <laughs> Hell yeah. They feeling it, be, we can move it. Tell me your YouTube channel, man. JJ Cards and Advice, man. And what's your game game channel? As long as they go to JJ's cars and advice, it's gonna pop up both. Okay, JJ's cars and advice, man. Y'all want some good advice? Go over there. <laughs> you in the little truck? You love this little truck now. You can't stay out of it. Hey, it's cool though. Cool little, cool little truck. It's not bad. Put some stars in the ceiling, man. Nah. Put some stars. I was just, I was just telling like, man, maybe I should. Put some blue stars in the ceiling. I was telling her like, man, I might might sell it i don't know why before i put too much money into it, you know when you put too much money into it it ain't no no returning back uh, yeah i was like right now it's perfect like they could this is perfect to sell like this because i don't got too much in it too much crazy and then once i start changing headlights tail lights and uh I'm doing more exhaust work and yeah i might i might Little tail lights off of eBay. You probably get a set of tail lights for like a hundred bucks. A good, oh, yeah. set, good night's good. Up the value. Yeah, up the value. At least another five hundred. I don't know about the the headlights then. Probably leave them alone. Nah, leave those alone. Tail lights would make a difference, huh? Tail, tail lights or something. Tail lights, you know, that's something they'll upgrade later on. Yeah. Know. So they might want to do the HIDs and the LDs. Yeah, down there, that's where the fog lights go. There's the fog light down there. Some people don't, some people might delete it, but I like that little bottom part. If you're gonna sell it, what you gonna sell it for? You might as well tell your subscribers, man. Somebody might be out there, might got the money already. You know, they might, <laughs> you know, they might be already ready. Shit, I'm thinking about like 10. 10 like for 10. it. I'm thinking about 10. Yeah, 10. I'm thinking about 10, y'all. I'm thinking about 10 grand, so. Shit, high. But well, the motherfucker run good. 
That's the end. Hell yeah. Lower it. All you gotta do is post it up there. Post it up there for 12000 and just drive it. Hell yeah. Just yeah. to give you the right amount of money. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna drive it. Miles gonna go up, just put it, put it in the post. Yeah. Miles gonna go up. Hell yeah. Wait, the miles gonna go Hell up. yeah. My dad already wanna buy, I really would rather sell it to my dad because if when he get his money, I'd rather sell it to him because I know I can always buy it back from him. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You might, you might not follow one like this again. I know, that's what I was saying. I already got the hood scoop, already been lowered. I want 10 grand. That's what I said. I want. Well, hey, fuck the damn truck. I got no damn raggedy ass cars. Shit. You want, I don't care about the car. Give me the money. I can. The car is I can always sell it again. Yeah. After you already made, yeah. Man, After you made your money, get your money first. Right, you spend, spend too much time right now on the fixing up process. You know, you like, oh man, you got to spend. Uh, might as well go make. Might as well take all that money, go invest in these cars, just go invest in like some properties or some stocks or something, and yeah. then go get make already be making the money, had the money, and then go back and take the time and invest in these cars because yeah. Because it's like all this old stuff, this stuff is expensive. Expensive, man. Expensive to work with. Like everything, because like everything gets harder to find, so it's nice. Well, you might as well already have the money, so you can just throw it in the shop. Yeah, because once you fix these cars up too much, doing suspension, all that going, you have too much money in it, and you cannot get none of that money yeah. back. That's why I said with the new car, like when I had the, the, the Corvette, yeah. I bought it for a certain amount, and I when the, when the uh, pandemic came, I sold it. And made a little money on it. Yeah, these are just these like, once, you, once you put the money in, you're not easy. getting this shit. It's best to just like you might as well keep it. So I say, yeah. so I say, go get it. all the money. And I'm not a keeper type. I'm not a keeper. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, when you're a salesperson, it makes it hard for you to to keep shit. You know what I mean? Some real estate or something. You yeah. Know, have all, I already had the money, and then where you can get one of these and just throw it in the shop, tell them everything you want done with it, pay them the money, and be done. Yep. And all this stuff is. One, if it ain't one thing, it's another gonna go wrong. Yeah, yeah. You working on the motor, transmission start leaking. Yeah. Trans, fix the transmission leak, the motor start misfire. Yeah. Fix the motor, the suspension start going to bad. Oh, yeah. Then it's something else. Then, yeah, it, yeah. then it's this wire messed up. Then it's this little small little thing. It's always just tedious stuff. Like, it ain't, it ain't that the stuff is it's hard to fix. It's just it's hard to fix because it's always just small stuff. It's yeah, it's a little stuff because so the old. So you got to throw it in the shop. You got to pay them. It's just, okay, $200 here. Oh, this one's wrong. $200 here. 200 dollars That shit add up. You know, that stuff started adding up. You don't think about it at the time. And then you're like, hey, all this stuff added up. That's why people are like, man, kick these old cars. Let me go get a new one. Yeah. Unless you just have to have that one, but. Unless you just have to have it. But I got, you know, I got too many, so some shit got to go. Yeah, I mean, I <laughs> Wilson about to retire, so I didn't get to get my fire burn, so I'm going to have to find somebody else. Who? Wilson? You said Wilson? He retired, the man in two oh. days, man. Yeah. He got, he oh, you trying to take your car over there? No, I got, some, I got other cars. I got cars that I'm actually trying to sell. You know, oh. that one, you know, that's just a toy. That's just a project. I yeah. Need, I want to have a car. Got down with that one. Which one that uh that dodge dart? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It was all messed up on the side. Let me see if I can find the picture. What was it messed up at? Let me look at it. Y'all know I got gas like that. I'm letting my OBS run. See? It was messed up like all over here, like on all of like oh, all on the door? Like all down there. Oh, he repaired the doors? Yeah, all. Oh, Wilson Cole. Yeah, he was messed up on the beard. Yeah. Can't even tell. Oh. Wilson the man. And then Wilson go up and retire on me. Retire. Well, you finally find someone that know how to do some work. I've been doing business with Wilson. I've been doing business with Wilson for a minute. Yeah. For like five, six, like five years. Now. Yeah. Him and used to be oh yeah, he used to go like, oh, forget going to Jenner. I can talk to the dude in the back, but I didn't know. Nah, 
Wilson, like well, cause we met Wilson over here on 44th, because him and Jenner used to be on 44th and Moore Robinson over here. Yeah, yeah. They used to be right there, and then they moved there, so we was doing now Wilson, but Wilson said he's been doing it for like 25 years, so it's time for him to retire. So on the 30th, he retiring, so. We'll see. He might. He might come back, though. He might come back. He might come back. Cause he said he want to flip cars. It ain't that easy. Uh, it's easy when you can speak Spanish. Man. You know how many deals you miss out? I miss out on cause I can't speak Spanish. I'm working on my Spanish shit. I can't speak Spanish. Miss out on all the deals. Customers hit you all the time. They hit you up in Spanish. You can't speak. Like you can go with the translator, but then when they get here, you know, they trust you more if you can speak the language. You know. Yeah. You can tell them the same thing. Like I even I done, I done had Bonnie like like the customer trusts Bonnie because she can speak Spanish. Yeah. And I'm telling you the same thing, but <laughs> I don't speak Spanish, so you don't trust me. Yeah. You know. Oh uh, yeah. That's why I'm working. Did you sell that one car? Oh, uh, did Bonnie help you sell that one car? Yeah. You're supposed to say, like work. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. It's always work when people just speak when they can speak the language they trust you. Like, yeah. When I tell you that oh the title if I tell you that oh I'm a million the title I'm waiting on the title it don't sound it don't sound real but when you hear it in Spanish. It sounds better. <laughs> yeah, it? yeah. So, it is what it is. What are they doing to that? Uh, why they got that motor out? Rebuilding it. Rebuilding it. Yeah. Y'all about to sell it? Or are you? Yeah, gonna sell it? Sell it for about thirty thousand. You know they had a few of them up there at the uh, on Wednesday. Yeah, I know. Oh, you see them? How much they go for? You, you need to see? Oh. They be going for like twenty thousand, thirty thousand. Uh, we're gonna sell over thirty thousand because we're gonna have a brand new rebuild motor, and it ain't uh, brand new, but it's, you know, it's rebuild basically brand new. Oh so uh, yeah. It's gonna be brand new, getting the heads and stuff done, so it's gonna be a rebuild motor. So thirty thousand. And y'all been sold that other uh, uh, eighteen wheeler? Yeah, we sold that, man. Like I said, I'll get that one. Any, as long as they feeling it, you can hustle it, beat. <laughs> I can hustle it. Beat. Sell it out. Or you had to get rid of that one. Look, we just sold. We just sold school buses. School buses. Box trucks. Boats. Boats. We done sold C-Dudes. 18 wheeler. We done sold a oh, motor. Yeah. Trailers and everything. We done sold anything. Man. Anything we come across, man, we're gonna sell it. Well, that's what you got that trailer back there to sell too? Okay. That black trailer? Yeah. Where the fuck y'all get that from? Everything. What option y'all get that from? Taking we trades, come stuff. willing and dealing and we stuff. stuff. If we see it for a deal, I'm gonna make a deal. If I see a value, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna see if I can sell it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's about hustling, man. Seeing what you can sell. Who bought this damn uh, Malibu? Uh, Aaron did. Aaron. We take the but that shit got all that. They gonna tax to just to get this shit off. Yeah, that's why we took it up there. They, that's why we. That's why we didn't take it. So, he man, brought it right back. Brought it right back. So man, tell him get a sander. Yeah, that's what he's gonna do. He's about to get a sander and get the filter in himself. We took it to Mako. Mako was like, mm. yeah, you can sand this thing down. Yeah. And get it. Mako was like fifteen hundred. <laughs> just to take this shit off. Take it and paint it. Take it off. And paint nah, it. man, you go get a buy a sander and sand that shit back down. Sand that whole shit down. So you might as well send the whole car down and just take it up there, come back and get it the cheapest. I mean, if they send it down, I'm pretty sure the paint, as long as you don't mess up like this white, I'm pretty sure this white paint under wasn't really that bad. Like the clear on the trunk and one. Probably wasn't even that bad. Yeah, but so you might as well send the whole shit down. Get it painted. Yeah. Probably, probably, yeah. probably be best to just send it huh, all the way down. Send it back down, paint it back white. Cause that that shit is bad. That shit they put the cheapest wrap on there. Gotta get a door for this Malibu. This one. Yeah. Man, and a fender. I don't huh? even know how they have happen. Yeah, I can get the fender if I can go to the store. I can get the matching door and fender. More than likely, I can get the both matching. Or I call like one of these sellers that they have a matching. Well, at least it opens. Yeah, it opens. If it didn't open, that should make it harder. Yeah, it's open, so it was. I don't know how this like ripped through there, but you know, get that. Oh yeah. Some fish in this one too. Which one? This the Honda. The Honda. Go get the dinner, bro. Like a two dollar dinner. Five dollar. But he fixed it up. Can't even tell. You know, the big old dinner. Hey, Wilson. Wilson. Wilson the man. He was winning with Wilson. This is the last one I'm gonna take to Wilson before before he retired. This one. I got one there. No, this Nissan right here. Oh, this Nissan. Oh, this one. Oh, this one. So, got these parts certified that I'm gonna have them fix this hood and paint it. 
That's gonna be the last one, and then yeah. So that's gonna be the last one. Yeah. Too bad you can't get him to help you with that damn Malibu. I can, I can, like you said, I can get a land to myself. Yeah. Gotta get some hubcaps for that one. Get some hubcaps. You know, you gotta get the hubcaps. You got to have the black and chrome hubcaps. Oh, yeah. Get a front bumper for that one. Hell yeah. You know, a lot of work to be done. Hell yeah. Money to be made, work to be done. Those damn paint. Wait, who's driving in that? Aaron, they're pretty good. My Monte Carlo looking pretty good over here. <laughs> looking pretty good. That's the attraction that brings Park it right here. Is that for sale? No, but we got other. We got other cars for sale. What else? <laughs> Put it right there on purpose, right here. So when they see it. Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo. Oh, yeah, it runs. It runs. Got the I Rock and the Monte Carlo right next to each other. Oh, yeah, let me go uh, get off of my damn truck. It's for cold. I mean, freaking cold. Let me go to the muffler shop. You know, I had to come over here and check them a little bit, man, with my partners. And, uh, you know, see what's going on up here. I ain't been up here in a minute. I don't know. This thing is quiet. I don't know. I like this damn truck. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I like this truck, but like he said... I get 10 grand out of this. Well, the one thing for sure, my dad said he'll give me 10 grand for this when he uh, gets his money. For sure. I really, really sell it to him. But, man, that's a pretty sight right there. Got the I Rock and the Monte Carlo right next to each other. That's a pretty sight. With the OBS. Let me see how my OBS look with these cars. Oh, that's a lot. I want to see what my OBS look like. What it look like? Yeah, it's JJ. Hey JJ, does this this OBS truck match with this uh, family? They look relatable. Yeah. Even though this is way newer, it's a '95. These 80s, but they kept the the look. Look still, look still. They got that nice same look. era, huh? Yeah. Then they got the nice like scoop hoods, you know. Yeah. It's all a part of the Chevy hey, life. Hell yeah. Oh my yeah, I gotta go to a muffler shop and fix the exhaust leak, you know, on the donut. Yeah. yeah I'm gonna see if they can fix that. One thing about messing with the exhaust to make it make it run out the back because it's dumped should be kind of too loud for me, but. I know that. Well, uh, you, you can decide. You're going to be up there. Oh, well, yeah. All right, we'll see what they can do. See what they can do. Yeah, it fits in because, you know, they, they kept that look at this truck for so long, you know. They, yeah. It's the same look at this truck today for, like, so long. Oh, you know? uh, yeah. It, well, didn't, it didn't do a drastic change, like, you know, like the Monte Carlo. Like, yeah. Okay, it went from this to Oh, uh, yeah. To now it's the truck, like, 80s truck didn't do a drafting change for like the 90s. Yeah. Like that. Oh, yeah. I'm going to run this down. It's a two door, man. It fits in. Two door. It fits in. Hell yeah. It's a coupe. Well, all right, JJ. I'll let you. Sell something, man. Make some money. Make me some money, man. All right, y'all. Let's get him out of here. Up out of here. <laughs> get up out of here. Show y'all how we do that here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna see what they can do if they can run it out the back, man. Or I don't 
don't know, man. I don't, I'm, it depends on how much they talking about. But first off, we gotta fix that donut. I, don't, I, I ain't making no promises what we're gonna end up doing. But, but my dad do buy it. I know he said he, he wants to, it out the back. So it's kind of one of those things, man. I know I wanted it out the back. I get over here to the muffler shop. It's only up the street, too. All right, y'all. We at the muffler shop. About to pull it up. Do you have donuts here? Oh. Another OBS over here. Look at the LS so he got the Camaro rims on there. How do you get this? Oh, he put adapters on there to get the Camaro rims on there. He already LS swapped this. He said it runs and everything. That thing looks nice under there. Oh, he got the new headlights. Oh no, man. Looking at my OBS neck, you wanna keep mine. I don't know, you know what I mean? I'm like. I already had that money. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Look like it's not tightened. The problem is the bolts. Oh, the bolts? Yeah. The bolts and the donut. Oh. Can you fix it? All the wrong bolts. Not the right bolts. No. Oh. See, look this. This broken the bolt and, and put it the, the other one. Oh. They're supposed to be like that one, huh? Something like this. Yeah. Can you change the bolts? What? Yeah. Put it, change the bolt and put in the donut. It's okay. $150. 150 Yes. Oh. That's the cheapest you can do? Price. You said what? That one is the best price. Best price? Yeah. Oh, let me make a phone call. Let me call. Let's call Richard real quick. See if they can do it cheaper.
So Richard them quoted me. They could get me in about 80 bucks or whatever, hook me up, but um, then I told them that it might be cross-threaded and they gotta do drilling and all that. So oh, it might be a little bit more. I'm like, man, let me just, well, I'm already up here and got it up on the lid. I'm about to just go ahead and do it. It's been at 150 and he hit me up with another, <laughs> another 50, 100, so 200 bucks. And I'm, I'm keeping it straight up with y'all. I'm gonna be paying for my stuff, so. Um, this part you got exhaust leak so what he's gonna do is delete this cut it cut it from here weld the pipe all the way it's right there so basically basically he gonna delete all this cut it cut it from here weld the pipe to here to there so he's gonna weld it instead of these having these clamps on there and, and oh they used to have a little system up there huh um and then of course with this y'all see what he gonna do with that he gonna change the bolts get the donut gasket basically we're just gonna fix all the uh exhaust leaks so we got thrust on here i'm about to just go ahead and leave that there i'm not even gonna worry about fixing all that running all that he he started talking about just to run them all out the back that's like uh, this three inch pipe you gotta do a lot of uh customized stuff but it's just yeah i'm not I'm not gonna do all that. He wants to charge me. That's like four four hundred dollars to do that. Nah, we gonna keep that. We gonna keep that dump for now. You know what I'm saying? We gonna keep that dump. We just gonna make sure we fix the exhaust leaks on it. It is what it is, man. So so far, this video making this video cost me about gas. A little gas coming here. See. Now, how much money I spent in this video? I spent fifty, three dollars, and then I'm about to spend two. So I'm about to spend almost two sixty in this video. <laughs> A whole two hundred and sixty dollars. I'm just making this one video. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get over here and record. Oh yeah, I see what he's talking about. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, get that off. Yeah, y'all see it, man. We're trying to get it. We're trying to get it together, man. We're gonna get it together. Um, it should sound a lot better than before. I remember hitting it on the highway, smashing it. It, had, it, it backfired. I don't know what that got to do with the, the pipes being shorted, or is it because of you know? It should breathe a lot better. It should flow a lot better. You know what I mean? You got something to cut it? I don't know where. Well, it's nothing. Let me cover it up. Okay. Yeah, that looks bad. That's still getting cut on fire. That's bad. You yeah. catch a fire. Yep. Oh man.
The best uh, option bro? is to put it the, the, the nuts in the top. Oh, uh, to put it from the top? Yeah. Oh. This size. Did it break in there or no? Oh. It's breaking the, the old one. Oh. You only drill it and... Oh, okay. Yeah, as long, long as you fix it for no easy leak. Okay. to have Richard and do it, save some money, but uh, I need him to weld that one part anyway. Might as well just have him do it. Do it, man. I be trying to save money and be cheap, but every time it don't, it don't work out. Sometimes it's not always good to be cheap. I learned, I learned a long time ago. But anyways, guys, man, y'all guys wanna, uh, they do good work over here, man. I, I mess with them. Uh, every once in a while, they give a good break sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes, but yeah, man, y'all want to come over to Muffler King, man. It breaks. We're on here, over here, on where street is this? Uh, 61st, it's right here, 61st, and this is Western, so 61st and Western. Y'all guys want to come over here and get some work done. Over at the Muffler shop, man, so. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that, uh, That thrust on there, but we're gonna fix that exhaust leak because I can't be having it sound raggedy going down the road. No, not I. I think I was playing. Here we go. Let's say 200. Are you gonna ever sell it? Or not? Are you planning on keeping it forever? Yeah. yeah. How much money you say you got in it now? Oh, over 10. Huh? You got more than 10? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it gets expensive, man. All right, have a good day. I forgot to take the key with me. Ooh, it sounds way better. Much better. Here you go. Do you want one of these hats? Yeah. Which one do you like? Uh, here, go look through. You can look through. They're different? Oh, different? Or? Yeah. Oh, uh, let me see what the green one looks like. Let's see. I'll take the green, green one. You take the green one? Yeah. Okay. So, for Mexico, you know, the Mexico color. Thank you. Behind you, Hat and a coffee mug. Oh yeah, I like that. Oh, see ya, man, Muffler King. Let me back up, because I know he's trying to get someone in there. All right, my friend. tell the, the difference that is it sounds way better now it sounds way better now and he got over 10 grand in the ls swap bill well i should have known that the ls swap by itself is... uh, oh yeah oh it's out way better whoa 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 hold on daddy move out the way let me show y'all real quick Oh, so much better. Oh, yeah. It was worth it. It was worth it. It was worth it. Okay. If y'all guys can see his work right there. The metal bolts, the bolts in there. He got it right for me. That's all I can say. I was going to have to rinse you off so oh so that oh that's why i wanted to look up under there and look at the welding that he did 
get on the ground, Lucky, get on the ground. so much better y'all that the little stuff makes a big difference it makes a big 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 difference